Hi, welcome to the round 12 preview. As the Blues are about to face the Port Adelaide Power. Adelaide Oval, 7.30 p.m. Thursday night. Two teams coming off a five-day break. We both played at the exact same time over the weekend and both teams got a win, solid win, and there's just no time to enjoy the win. Really, got to move on. And it's a it's a big opportunity. It's a big test. And let's see. Let's see what it means. Um, we are in this pattern at the moment. We're seemingly just getting through what has been a pretty tough patch in the fixture. I don't know if any patch is easy, to be honest. They're like, what, what does that even mean? A, you know, a tough patch. I think because we've played great teams, that's where I think it's tough. But at the same time, any like any team you play, they're all like it's hard to win, let alone win by a lot. You know, we've come off a, a win against the Suns, got back to what looked like um, our better footy. Port, I didn't watch their game, to be fair. They played at the exact same time as us. They uh, accounted for North Melbourne relatively well, easily. Uh, I think there's a, a big gap in class there. And, you know, the week prior, they got out of jail at the Adelaide Oval against the Hawks, which is still one of the most fascinating finishes to a game um, that you can really get in this sport. So as we go to Adelaide Oval, you know, the the theme anytime we play in Adelaide and in particular at the Adelaide Oval is that, you know, Carlton haven't won there. Now we won earlier in the year. We beat Fremantle in Gather Round. Uh, there's an argument to be made that the hoodoo is dead, but, you know, now you look at it, you know, have we beaten an Adelaide-based team in Adelaide at the Adelaide Oval, which we haven't. Uh, I learned last night that since Vossi took over as coach of Carlton, we've not lost to Port Adelaide. To be fair, we've only played a couple of times. Um, this is a year where we will face off against the power twice, and this will be the first time. We actually play them both times off a five-day break, interestingly enough. But this Thursday, I guess it's just important. You, you know, it's we're getting to the halfway point of the year. Um, we've started to see our better players return to the side. Over the last few weeks, we've seen the likes of Mitch McGovern return to the side. We've seen the likes of Adam Saad, Lockie Fogarty, players who are important for our structure. Uh, we saw some new ideas implemented. We saw Zach Williams play in the forward half of the ground. We've seen Alex Chincotta play a bit more of a tagging role in the midfield. So there's a few question marks over how this is going to look on Thursday night and what we can do, and what we can bring. I would love to know. I don't know if I ever will. Maybe if we get a chance to speak to Vossi or I mean, any former coach, I would love to know how much of an impact it can make when you have coached an opposition side in the past and the intel that you have about those players. Now, Vossi was at Port Adelaide for a while, and I would be very curious to know how much does he know about these boys when he coaches against them? Because I feel like you, you know, you're living the day-to-day -day with them when you're, a, you're you're an assistant coach. You know mentally how they're hardwired. I think one of Vossi's strengths is understanding how to push buttons, how to motivate, um, and really dealing with the the leadership or the empowerment of these players. And obviously when you coach against them, you know what their strengths and weaknesses are. So I'd be really curious to know if that is a factor. We've only played them twice since he started coaching us. So I don't know if it's you know too early to say, oh, he knows what makes the power tick and, and how to beat them. But you know, we, we, we have a coach who has coached the opposition side as an assistant. He's coached the ground well. I think he knows Adelaide Oval pretty well. And, uh, you know, Port are good. Port are proven to be a side that, you know, they understand the marathon that is an AFL season. They don't peak too early. Well, you could argue maybe last year they did. They won 13 in a row before we beat them. Um, but they always find a way to get there. Uh, and be in the mix come September. They haven't been able to get over the hump and, you know, win a premiership, you know, make consistent grand finals, that sort of 
that sort of thing. But they're still a really good side. They're, they've proven over the you know the test of time that they are a good side, particularly in the regular season. And every year they give themselves the best chance. So um, this is a tough opponent on their home deck and it's going to be our fourth interstate trip for the year. Changes for us, themes and issues for us. We saw Tom DeConing, Sol Ruck last week, looked great, looked a lot more fluid. I mean, he had the career high game, you know, 25 possessions, looked good in the ruck. For Port, uh, I think Soldo came back through the sandful, so he could be in the mix to play. They've been chopping and changing a bit. Um, Vicentini's played, Jordan Sweet has played. Finlayson chops out a bit, so they've got options, but I don't see this as a match that Tom can't ruck on his own. Um, Pitto, I don't know exactly what the timeline is for him at the time of filming this, but get the sense that this would be a Tom DeConing matchup. This would just be a uh, one where you just throw him in there on his own and let him go, depending on how he pulled up from, from last week. Uh, I do wonder how much the five-day break actually impacts this contest for the players. Spoke with Ollie Hollands yesterday. Um, he mentioned the earlier you get on the track, the best chance you give yourself um, to get ready for the, the upcoming game. So yeah, I, I feel like I'm a, we're about to go into a game that's not going to be pretty. Both teams coming off a shortened break. Um, it's going to be raining on Thursday throughout the day in particular. In Adelaide, I don't know if that'll trickle into the evening and you know during the game, but I'm curious to see how all those elements come together. And yeah, I, for some reason, I picture this being a, a scrappy affair. I don't picture it being pretty at all. Port are really good at restricting the opposition from possessing the ball. They're a great tackling side. They're a great pressure side. I think they're we're probably implementing a bit of what they already do in the way we want to play. We've been at it for a couple of years. They've been at it for a little longer than us. Um, the captain, Rosie, is a test to play. He's a big factor because of what he can do. You know, there are certain individuals that are so brilliant that they can hurt you, uh, particularly at stoppage, and he's one of them. We've got a couple ourselves, but, you know, he's a, he's a really key piece for them. Um, not sure if it's the game you bring Motlop back in just yet. He's had a big chunk of... Uh, out of the game, to be honest, injured, rehabbing. Um, and I just don't know what it's going to look like for us. I don't mind the idea of keeping the same side um, and just backing him in and going again. So that's going to be interesting. Um, but look, <laughs> it's if you lose, you're sort of back in that grind of the back and forth, win-loss, win-loss that we seem to be going through. If you win... You know, you, you just build momentum. You stay in touch in that top four race. The ladder right now is super even. I think you can, you have to make the case that every team right now, prior to round 12 commencing, is, a, is still well and truly in the race for, for the top four. It's very even. Uh, there are five teams on 28 points. We are one of them. One of those teams is Collingwood, who's had two draws. So there hasn't been a, um, a real breakaway potentially Sydney they've really broken away from the pack you could say but everyone else is kind of there's question marks at times on every other side in the comp so this will be great we're going to have a pretty crammed week this week team show watch along fan cams and uh, then we're going to have a nice break before the next game so yeah should be a good one uh, what about you how are you observing this game this week what are you thinking around selection? What are you thinking around Port Adelaide? What have you watched from Port Adelaide um, that you think is important for this week? Let's discuss in the comments below and, and get ready for a quick turnaround and go from there. Go Blues. Yeah.